It's time for the Sport Corner CM Hockey League News. I want to welcome you all to the uh, second uh, SHL Awards. So uh, before we start, a couple logistics. For those of you not drinking yet because you want to see if we're paying for you. Yes, we are. So uh, we have got, yeah, that's what I want. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. Show some respect here. Actually, you're paying. It's, anyway, uh, not important. Um, part of your league fees. Um, so we got about uh, a bunch of thousand baht on alcohol. We ordered about 10 pizzas. If you run out of pizza, we'll order more. But for sure, anything you want to order at Dom Perignon, they don't have here. But uh, try and keep it, you know, respectable. Um, but uh, we should be good. Last year, we lasted pretty long for the alcohol. Um, I want to begin. For those of you who have never been here before, not to the bar, but to SHL, my name is John Shaknovsky. I'm the SHL president. Really, no clapping there. There we go. He pauses for the clap, right? Uh, that's what the teleprompter says, pause for applause. Pause for applause. Um, I want to uh, introduce a few people first before we start. Uh, Christian Olofsson, part of the executive committee here. Pause for applause. Scott Murray, over in the corner. Uh, Alistair's here somewhere, our treasurer. Takes your money somewhere. Uh, there he is over there. Okay, so, any captains here? Who are the captains? Raise your hand if you're a captain. Patrick's here. Want to acknowledge the captain that is here. Once again. How many uh, first year players? Raise your hand if you're a first year player. Hand, all right, good. Thank you to the first year players. Welcome to the first award ceremony. <laughs> Gonna go through some more uh, logistical things here. You'll see my shirt that I'm wearing now. I was begged and asked to wear an SHL shirt. For those of you who follow actual hockey, there's a reason I'm wearing this shirt. I might put this on at some point, but um, you know, come on, seriously. 20 years, 20 years. No applause for the Caps, Jesus. All right. All your teams are out of the playoffs and what's up. Anyway, um, I'll put it on at some point. Um, we have, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Nagayama could not come here tonight to do photography. So a big round of applause for Thomas, today's photography. Thank you very much. Last minute substitute, very good. Um, I want to do one more acknowledgement. Um, all of you know that uh, we lost a big part of the SHL last year and Alex uh, and we were a little worried and Dom stepped up and I'm telling you now as all of you know between his podcasts and his player of the game interviews and running the league every single week he actually has an actual job as well big round of applause for Dom uh, you'll see from the pool table up here we've got a lot Swag, SHL swag. Um, I'll let Christian, Christian wants to say a few words about the swag, and then we'll go over the pricing and how you can uh, purchase this stuff. Great, yeah, we have some uh, first year players and so on. So I just wanna let you know, I know I'm kicking in some open doors, but just to inform you as well, when we arrange for the SHL swag, we're doing that out of our own pockets. So we're, we're paying for this ourselves and we are charging it at cost. So I know a lot of people are asking for when will there be more, do you have more sizes, et cetera, et cetera. Please just bear with us there that we're actually, we're paying for this ourselves and we count on you buying it and then we can buy some more. So I just want to clarify, uh, clarify that. So for example, the hats, uh, Pratch has been in charge of arranging and uh, getting these guys, uh, these ones done. Uh, we ordered 30 last time, we are looking to order 30 again, but for us to do so, we need you to sign up for them. So these ones were really popular, we sold out very quickly, and we want to make another order, but then please put your name down here. Thanks, for, uh, we got a few orders there already, I see. They sold out fast, that Yeah, especially the blue ones, they, they went fast. Same things here, t-shirts, 200 baht, uh, grab them here, just let me know, we'll write it down. Uh, what else do we have? We have uh, jerseys, so some used, some are never used, uh, and we're, we're selling them for 500 baht, uh, socks, 
while they last 100 baht. And uh, the money that we make of this will go to things like this, uh, paying for your beers and so on. So uh, pick up some, uh, some uh, cool SHL stuff for, uh, for Shinies. Okay? Thanks for supporting us. So to clarify, once again, those t-shirts, we have tons of size. Those are 200 bucks. You can buy those today. If you want a hat, put your name down. Those will be 500 baht when we get the order in. Jerseys, all old jerseys, 500 baht. Socks are 100 baht if you want to buy a pair of socks. And we have one of these, just one left over. This is 500 baht. And that one shirt. For you Quebecois, I think it's a V-neck, so you guys can get, you like V-necks? There you go, right? <laughs> That's what you say, like V-necks, Eve. For some reason, Quebecois love the V-neck. I don't know what it is. Uh, all right, so, uh, hold on one second here. So obviously the most important people to, uh, to thank are our sponsors. I want to thank all the sponsors. I think this year, I'm not sure how many sponsors here. Last year, a lot more showed up, but... Uh, Obviously, our captain, Cone Cranes, is here there, Patrick. But uh, I want to thank all of our sponsors. Obviously, without them, we have no league. Your league fees pay for us part of the league, but uh, the sponsors are very, very important to us. We had a new sponsor this year in Big Chili, uh, the magazine. Kind of cool. Six months out of the year, we have our big articles in, the, in Big Chili magazine, which is kind of cool to see. And uh, we're pretty happy about that. So I want to thank all of our sponsors you see up here. Um, I think for the most part, most of the sponsors have said they're coming back again next year, and we have a few new sponsors who want to come. And uh, where is Steve? Steven back there, Sport Corner. This year's Platinum Spot. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> All right, so we're going to begin the ceremony today like we did last year. We have our, our big awards coming later on, but we have a kind of a category of of uh, Jeff McIntyre, the owner of uh, Rolling Stone Pizza. It's very, very cool, it gives us a big stack of these coupons. We give them out for the Player of the Game Award every week, and it gives us a bunch more to give out a bunch of awards here. Some are funny, some are skill-related, but uh, for the most part, we have a bunch of awards now. I'm gonna call up uh, Scotty Murray up here to give those awards out, and I will, once you get your name called for your pizza coupon, I'll meet you over here, and I will put on the SHL shirt for that, but then it's coming off again. All right, here's Scotty. Okay, thank you very much, John, and thank you for all you do for the SHL. Just before I start, I wanna thank John and Christian very much, because without their work, none of this would've happened. So, guys, if we could give a big cheer to both John and Christian for all their hard work. Okay, now, unfortunately, not all of our winners are here but we're gonna go through these in the order that we originally uh, selected anyway. So first up is the Air Miles Award. And this goes to the person that traveled furthest to go to our games. Now, some of us come from Phuket or Singapore or KL, and that's basically a hot skip and a jump. But this guy was based in Prague in the Czech Republic for most of the year. So he'd be in a Prague on Wednesday, come to play hockey in Bangkok on Sunday, and then fly back to Prague. So, I mean, if you want to talk about the de dedication and commitment, this guy really had it. So, the Air Miles Award this guy this year goes to Jason Bitter. Uh, he's not here now, but he's promising to show later, so maybe we'll give him a round of applause when he shows up. Okay. The best, uh, the, next, the next award is actually for the best goalie performance by a non-goalie, if that makes sense. Okay, in one of the games for the Sukhum Spitfires, our goalie dream forgot what time the game was, so he didn't show up. So we played anyway, and Brad Wilson, our captain, decided to play goal with regular equipment on. And to be honest, he actually did a pretty good job. We were winning up until the time that our goalie came and we started losing again. <laughs> so anyway, in light of Brad's great non-goalie goalie performance, uh, we just want to honor him with the best goalie performance by a non-goalie. <laughs> so we're moving on now to the best defensive forward. In the NHL, this is called the Selkie Award, and usually these guys don't get a lot of recognition. But we have three very deserving nominees this year. Uh, the first was uh, Darius, who made a tremendous 
uh, changed from being a tenacious go get in your face guy to uh, being a very very conscientious checker and all around good player and one of his teammates Ollie was another very good defensive forward but the winner this year of the best of four defensive forward making a tremendous comeback from knee surgery was Billy Bredesen. Billy's here. <laughs> Up next is the uh, best defense, defensive defenseman. And again, we have three very uh, good candidates here. Uh, the first was uh, Yari Erkinen, I believe is the pronunciation of his last name. Erkinen, I stand corrected. How do you know? Uh, he, has, he actually runs uh, uh, kindergarten in Pitsen Look. So again, uh, kudos to Yari for making the trip from uh, Pitsen Look every weekend for playing in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the games. And the other nominee for this was uh, Carly. I believe Carly's here. She made a tremendous contribution this year in the SHL. But the winner of this year's best defensive defenseman is Brad Wilson. He's in Kosovo. He's in Kosovo. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. He's in. He's in. He's in Kosovo. Kosovo. Now, next. Next up is the grinder of the year. Again, three very deserving candidates. One of them, Jordan Ashton, is, is uh, coaching a basketball team in Phuket. The other, Ryan Yaden, is right here. Oh, yes. Ryan okay. gets the uh, Fashion Statement of the Year award for what he's wearing. Also, guys, if you follow the uh, SHL at all this year, you'll know in the final that Ryan's team, Aware, played Hurts. The kicker for this is that before Ryan moved to Thailand, he was a Hurts dealer. For eight years in upstate Washington. <laughs> okay, uh, but the winner this year of the Grinder Award is David Gore. David is here right now. Uh, and uh, the next award goes to the SHL Wife of the Year. She, you know, many candidates, but this, this woman actually showed up for every single game. She even showed up when her husband didn't show up. So, <laughs> don't, don't ask me to pick that one up. So, anyway. The SHL wife of the year is Amy Moore. Okay? <laughs> Now, we just want to acknowledge uh, the officials this year because uh, they played a big part in our success. So we've got two awards for the officials, the best tie referee and the best non-tie referee. So the best tie referee goes to the, the godfather of Thai hockey, Kun Jip. And without his help, uh, the pro shop, all the organization, everything he does, we, 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 we wouldn't be where we are today. So big cheers to Jip. Now the best non-tie referee and only, went to, uh, and only, and only, went to a guy that joined us halfway through the year, an American fellow named Jeremy. Now Jeremy sees pretty, you know, he's very black and white and he calls it like it is, but he, he, in he increased our, 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 our officiating when we're off the roof when he showed up. The calls were made, they were made decisively, and the tie kids picked up on it. So a big round of applause to Jeremy for helping us get our officiating. <laughs> Okay, now we're moving over to the second uh, row here. Best tie player. So many, so many to choose from here. Um, very, three very deserving candidates. Uh, Kun Monkhon from Aware proved his worth in, in the, the final game and many other games, but he's one of the candidates. The other candidate is the Sukhumvit goalie Dream, and Sukhumvit never would have had the season they had without him. But the winner of the best tie player in the SHL this year is the man with the hardest slap shot, Kun Yin. I don't know if you've ever seen this kid play, but he can actually shoot the puck as hard as an NHL player. He's that, he's that good. Okay, now this is this to me is the most important award, so uh, it really is goes without saying. And, I, and there's many deserving candidates. Um, among them, Mike Wilson, who's is, is here. Mike, maybe. Okay, well he was last year's winner, and also Michael White. But the best Canuck this year, hands down, for leading his team to the championship and winning a scoring title is Andy Bryan. <laughs> Andy played a huge role in leading Hurts to the championship this year. 
defeating the uh, much vaunted aware squad. <laughs> The next award goes to the uh, best American player. Again, many, many candidates here, including Brandon Vick. I think Brandon's here. Great, great season for Brandon, moving over from aware to play for Hertz in the championship team. Also nominated are our president, John Shaknowski, last year's winner. But the, the best American player in the SHL this year goes to Harrison Ostamel. Harrison has, the, has a very ingenious reason for not being here. He's at the Yasso Torn Rocket Festival. And if you've never been, go before you leave. It's a pretty wild uh, event. But anyway, Harrison sends his best in the Yasso Rocket Festival. Now the next, the, the next award is for the best finished player. Again, a, a great selection here. Tommy Hakkinen, who's from Tsukovit, who's in a sauna somewhere, passed out, but uh, he's one of the nominees. The other nominee, Yoni Heinenen, is here, right? Yoni, yeah, Yoni. great, 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 great. Uh, Yoni has better puck sense than almost everybody in the league and had a great season. But uh, the outstanding Finnish player in the SHL this year is the coach of the Thai national team, Johanny Ijas. also want to say a few words about Johanny because the Thai national team has taken huge strides since he's taken over as the coach. They've won many games and many uh, tournaments and uh, and uh, we just want to thank Johanny for all his good work with the Thai national team. So keep it up Johanny. Okay the next award is for the best uh, Swedish players. I'm told they do play hockey in uh, Sweden. Um, and anyway, uh, so, <laughs> sorry. Um, anyway, we've got a couple of very deserving candidates here Peter Borgeson and Kim Edberg. But the winner of the best Swedish player, and hands down the best hockey player in the SHL, is Patrick Lundbach. The best other European award, we have three very deserving candidates here. Uh, Ernesto Bauer, who's not here right now. Ralph Dittmer. Uh, story about Ralph. Uh, everyone in my family basically fought the Germans. My father, my grandfather, my uncles, my great uncles. That's a funny story. Oh, well, listen, listen, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. So when I first met Ralph, I couldn't admit that he was German. And then every time I would put a lineup card, I would always list him as Swiss, okay? So he would always get pissed off at me and say, why, why don't you write I'm German? Well, anyway, I guess the story didn't go over very well. But the point <laughs> being, the point so being is that Ralph, Ralph is the good German. <laughs> the only one. <laughs> I'm going to stop telling stories. Okay, anyway, the, the, uh, the best, non, uh, best other European is, is Mike Triaka, Basically, for a standing performance in the playoffs. Great, great award. Okay, now we're on to the most reliable sub. Unfortunately, uh, he's not here, but this guy was amazing. He couldn't be a regular player, but he subbed, and sometimes he would play two games a week. He's here, where is he? Go on. Okay. This guy would, within about a half an hour's notice, would come, and sometimes he would play two games. Uh, a night, and he actually probably played more more games than a regular player. So I just want to give a big round of applause to Kim Edberg. Kim Edberg is the Okay. I think the only team that he didn't play for was Aware, but I think he played for everybody else. Good, good job, Steve. Okay, and moving on to the next award, the biggest impact sub. We. Ah, uh, well, he's not here. Okay. So anyway, this guy is half Austrian, half Thai. I think he actually now has his Thai citizenship. Very, very good player. Came out of nowhere, but made a big difference in every game he played in. So Patrick Forstner is the biggest impact sub. Okay, so now moving on to our third. The extraordinary gentleman. Uh, this, this, there is only one candidate for this, and he's, he's winning it for the second year award because... All of us seem to have our foibles and faux pas, but this guy just always shows up, treats, treats everyone well, and behaves like a gentleman. So the Most Extraordinary Gentleman Award goes to Alistair Fawcett, the second <laughs> award.
Okay, now, again, sometimes the players get all the notice, but it's a lot of people behind the scenes that actually make a league work. And one of our biggest supporters this, this year, actually she saw every single game, if you can believe it, every single game. If you can believe it. If you can believe it. <laughs> um, is uh, Dom's wife, Tracy. <laughs> Tracy grew up in England, so she's not a native hockey fan, but she even comes to Thursday shinnies and films them, so probably nobody's seen more hockey in the past year than Tracy. And uh, our, our next award is the biggest off-ice contribution. Uh, John touched on this, uh, but really, again, none of this would happen if not for, for Dom. Dom, how are you? I mean, like... The thing about Dom, the thing about Dom is that we always have our bad days, you know. But this guy, he's always in a good mood. He's always cheerful. He's always personable. And uh, just if we had more people like him, the world would be a better place. There we go. Thank you, Dom. Okay. Okay, uh, the playoff scoring award is just a, the award for the guys that got the most points in the, in, the, in the playoffs. And this is a tie between Hertz's captain, Justin St. Denis, and Moncon from Aware. So they both, they both played big roles in getting their teams to the championship final. Thank you, guys. So the most active uh, Facebook user, and I believe I saw him walk in. He's here. He's here, okay. He works for a company named called Pfizer, and they do uh, well. You know what they do. Anyway, Patrick Leduc. Okay, I'm just going to jump ahead here. We have uh, an award called the Groundbreaker Award, and uh, this award goes to a person who emailed me, uh, I think in August, and said, "Is it okay if I play with you guys? I played hockey with some guys back home." We've always tried to be pretty inclusive, so I said, sure, come on out. Little did we know we'd be getting somebody who can really, really play hockey. So uh, this, this award goes to Carly. Hey. But yeah. I want to say something about Carly. Um, sometimes growing up, you know, you get, you, get, you get the girl on your team, or, oh yeah, she's okay, but she's a woman. None of that with Carly. Carly's just a hockey player. Okay, she's a very, very good hockey player, and she made us all look at the way the people play the game different. Okay, so actually we, we, uh, we do have an award here for uh, the first guy to show up. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, Ryan, <laughs> Eager Beaver Award. Eager Beaver Award. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of. So cars. Ryan got huh. Ryan camped out here. He had a tent, and he was the first one here. So Yay! Ryan, the other one. <laughs> Next year, show up early. <laughs> All right, five raffle tickets for the free pizzas. Not a lot of you did this, so you all might win. First person to get a pizza for the raffle is really. Ryan, get two pizzas! Yay! All right. No, no photos for this one. Yeah. For the raffle tickets? Come on. All right. Next up, we'll do all five. We'll do all five at the same time. All five. Next up, Eve. Eve. Next up, Pontus! Okay, I want to do one more award real quick. 
One more pizza coupon award before we move on. I think, um, I think Scott unfortunately called somebody else the godfather of hockey. I'm not sure who it was. But all of you know the actual godfather of hockey award has to go to... Thank you. All right, got to give one to Scotty Murray. Okay, so... No one's the godfather of hockey but Scotty. In the world, I think, actually. Oh, hey, uh, what did he win? Uh, and one of our award winners, the Playoff Score, I think, award, Justin St. Denis. Come on up, Justin's here. On time as usual. It's like coming to hockey. You're five minutes early, throw your gear on, just perfect timing. Okay, let's get down to business here and do the um, other awards. After this photo. Okay, for these awards, we're going to have Scotty Murray uh, pass these out. Scotty, ready to go? Okay, so once again, want to thank Cone Cranes again and Patrick for a great sponsorship. These awards have become kind of the award everyone wants to win. Uh, guy down in America, I think in North Carolina, makes these for us. Um, and each one of these goes to the MVP of their certain team. So uh, we'll start off in order when Christian's ready to go for the first award. Uh, the artist's name is Brendan Sheridan. Um, if you want to, I know Christian, I think, has ordered a few for his, uh, I think for your kids, maybe? Yeah, so you can order these for any sport or just hockey. Any sport, he'll make them. So go online and uh, Brendan Sheridan, he can make these. So he's, we're pretty proud of these as well. So the first team is going to be uh, Expedia. Uh, the nominees are some terrible player uh, who had a terrible year. And then also Mike Wilson and Johani are the nominees this year for the award. And uh, this year's MVP for Expedia goes to Johani. And for each one of these awards, we're also going to get, you also get a pizza coupon as well for all of our uh, upper echelon awards as well. Okay, uh, MVP for Hertz this year. Pretty difficult decision actually uh, this year. Three very well deserving candidates. Justin, Carly, and Andy Bryan uh, nominated this year. This year's award goes to Andy Bryan. And also want to thank Cone Cranes. Every winner is also getting a nice shirt, a Cone Crane shirt as well. So uh, quite, the, uh, quite the award this year. Thank you, Patrick. Next up is uh, Spitfires. Nominees this year are uh, goal scoring leader Harrison, Dream, and Brad Wilson. Once again, all very, very close voting, if we voted. Any close voting, uh, winner is Dream. I don't think Dream is here. Um, let me think, anyone here from XP? Uh, we'll just get some later. Okay. Uh, next up for Aware, nominees were Corey Day. Devin Michael, and Yin Kun Yin. Uh, and the winner of this year's award goes to Devin. Okay, as you all know, so that's the Coney Cone Cranes Awards. Now we'll go to the other awards. This is a list of awards we're gonna give out. All of you do know that the League MVP Award was uh, sp sponsored by Johnny Oduya. Uh, who now plays for the Philadelphia Flyers. Actually, I think he's not under contract now, but uh, but uh, was on the Flyers. But we really appreciate Johnny O'Dea's support. Um, this year, I think most of you can agree, last year Donnie was a pretty much a walkaway winner. This year was really, really difficult uh, decision. This year's nominees, Andy Bryan, Johanny, and Patrick. Really, really difficult decision this year. Uh, but for uh, for the regular season and playoffs combined, this year's MVP goes to Patrick. Okay, so next up, uh, best goalie. Um, as we know, it's a statistical category, so he knows you want it, but let me just say one thing about the goalie this year. All of you know we had a little bit of a goalie issue. I won't go into it. 
It's a big article on ESPN about it. It was a whole thing. But uh, we lost a goalie throughout the year. And uh, as you guys know, Patrick LeDuc stepped up, came in with a pretty talented, aware team. And really there was, I would say, the improvement um, was obvious. Um, <laughs> I shouldn't talk about this. Anyway, congrats to Patrick. <laughs> okay, next up is the, um, the award also. We pretty much know the winner of this one, but it's for most points this year. And uh, nominees, the uh, top three were obviously Andy, Yohani, and Harrison. We all know, I mean, watching the whole year, Andy had an amazing year from beginning to end. Winner's Andy Bryan. Okay, this year we have a new award, uh, top goal scorer, um, and uh, there is actually still, all of our awards are luckily for us sponsored. This is the one award not sponsored yet, so if anybody wants to sponsor an award, 5,000 baht for sponsoring the award, come see one of us afterward, it's a good opportunity to do so. Um, but this year's uh, top three goal scorers, Johanny, Jordan, and the winner this year, Harrison. So I think most people would agree we have a really good cadre of defensemen in this league. Some of the best players in our league are defensemen. So this is always a, a difficult award. Um, this year's nominees for best defensemen, Brad Wilson, Johanny, and uh, Patrick. But uh, as a common theme, you know, best player in the league this year by far, best defenseman in the league this year, Patrick. All right, the next award we have, the um, sponsorship, I'm mean, sorry, sportsmanship, sportsmanship award, sponsorship award. The sportsmanship award this year, um, I'm not sure why I'm not up there, but we'll let it slide this year. Uh, but uh, nominees, Ali, Carly, and Devin, all three really epitome of sportsmanship um, for, their, for their teams. Not entirely sure why two are from aware, but anyway, uh, this year's winner is Ali. He's on his way, five minutes out. Save your applause when he walks in. We'll clap again, maybe. We'll see how it goes. Okay. He's not getting a haircut at all. Is he getting a haircut? Really? Brutal. Okay. Rookie of the year. This year we had uh, a lot of rookies. We had um, Yohani. We can thank Yohani for bringing a lot of the young Thai players in. And uh, we had a really large group of rookies who made an impact from the, from the get-go. Um, we had, uh, I think every team had a good group of rookies. Expedia had Chap and Wynn, uh, two really good uh, offensive superstars. But this year's Rookie of the Year goes to Pooh. And this award is the... Uh, Rookie of the Year is the House 3 Award, which is a good gym here. And Pooh also wins three free sessions at House uh, Workout Sessions there. So for next year, he'll get the MVP because he'll be in better shape. Good job, Pooh. So I want to, uh, all of you know this guy. We have, a, we have an award this year for a dedication to Thai hockey. And um, look, Christian and I will tell you that for a couple of year, na years now, we've met with the Minister of Sport to discuss improvement on Thai hockey. We've made, tried to make an impact uh, and try with the SHL and all those things. But somebody came to Thailand a little while ago and made the biggest impact. And he's changed the way the Thai hockey's improved. He's brought back trophies to the country. He has done things for Thai hockey that no one, I think, could see happening as quick as he did. So this year, our dedication to Thai Hockey Award goes to somebody who we are really proud of, Yohani. And even though Alex isn't dead yet, this is called the Alex Manton Trophy. He did not die, usually we did memorials, but we're proud of Alex and all he did. This is the Alex Manton Trophy.
So I wanted to kind of do a recap of the season. I didn't do that yet, but a recap in a couple sentences are aware, dominated, then lost. Now, that's a couple sentences. But uh, after an 11-game winning streak... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> really? Is that our, um, the Caps are actually still in the playoffs, if you haven't noticed. Anyway, so, sorry, I digress. Um, so, uh, look, at the end of the day, the season began pretty tough for Hertz, and we all know that. And the improvement they put, we got closer and closer to the playoffs. And uh, not only did the team improve, but one player improved. And if someone told you the third week into the season that the playoff MVP would be who it was, I bet a lot of bets would be off, but great season, great playoffs, awesome job, playoff MVP, Lance. Okay, so uh, let's go backwards for a second, and you saved your applause. This year's sportsman, uh, Sportsmanship Award, Ali just arrived, come on up, Ali, Sportsmanship Award, come on up. There's obviously uh, one award left, the granddaddy of them all, and uh, obviously I'm in the league, so it pains me to say it, but uh, congratulations to Hertz. Big, big season. Nothing take away from aware. 11-game winning streak, longest streak in the SHL in two seasons. You guys had a, a great year as well. But champions, those of you from Hertz, please come on up to get, get your award for champions. Seam Hockey League 2017-18 champions. Okay, so those of you who've been here for a couple of years now, and I mentioned it before, we're very proud of uh, our assistance that Johnny Oduya gives us on our uh, scholarship for our young Thai player, for our MVP trophy, um, and he's come here a few times, and we're pretty proud of that. But as we said, there's an announcement. Uh, Johnny uh, hit us up a few weeks ago, and um, he wants to come back to Thailand. Um, actually, it's gonna be pretty soon, so our big announcement is Johnny is gonna come back in a few weeks. We're gonna have another charity game for the Thai Red Cross, and he's actually bringing another NHLer, so it's gonna be Johnny Oduya's team versus Marcus Kruger's team. For those of you who know Kruger, he was actually just traded from uh, Carolina to Arizona. So uh, we're gonna have, it's, we're pretty proud of this, so Marcus Kruger, Johnny Oduya, both former Blackhawks, uh, both won the cup together. So we're gonna have the game, it's gonna be on June 29th at 8.30. We'll get more details on the players who's gonna be in it, but. Um, be a lot of press about it, and uh, once again, June 29th to Friday at 8.30. We're hearing rumors he wants to play in Shinny the night before, so when that Shinny sheet comes out on uh, to sign up for Shinny, it's going to be a first come, first serve on Shinny on Thursday night, and then we'll have the game on Friday. But um, we wrap up here for the award ceremony. Uh, I want to thank all of you for coming. Good turnout. Keep drinking. It's on us for a while. We'll tell you when, to, when it's not on us anymore. Come up afterward, all the swags for sale, buy what you want, and stay tuned. We're gonna have information on the draft coming up in the fall, um, our sponsorship. Um, anybody has any feedback to the league, please send us an email to the SHL email. Um, but we really appreciate your guys' support. We think we do a pretty good job as far as uh, a good expat league here. And once again, thank you guys, enjoy your night, thanks a lot. Opposite, it was very strong. I, I was good. The Sport Corner CM Hockey League News is brought to you by Big Chili Magazine, the best read expat lifestyle and news magazine in Thailand. It covers interesting issues in Bangkok and the region while bringing its readers engaging stories and various exclusive interviews, food reviews, and more. You can find the Big Chili Magazine in bookstores and online at thebigchili.com.